You've probably used some keyboard shortcuts before, like the old copy and paste, but did you know that Lightburn actually has 120 different hotkeys? Don't believe me? Well, here is Lightburn's official list of all of their different hotkeys, which I found, printed, and then counted because I am a massive nerd. And I don't honestly think that anybody who isn't a cyborg is actually going to use all 120 of these things, but we are going to cover 23 specific hotkeys that I think most people will find quite helpful. And it's also really cool that you can actually customize the hotkeys in Lightburn. So if you're like me and you find it annoying that the redo hotkey is not command or control Y like it is in a lot of other programs, then you can actually change that and I'll show you how. Now to the computer. We're gonna start with some of the hotkeys that are easiest to remember and those are the alignment hotkeys. And so let me show you this. First, I'm just going to create a rectangle here for us to work with. And I am using uh, hotkeys here to select the rectangle tool. <laughs> we'll talk more about that later. And uh, now I'm going to make a little ellipse or circle looking thing here to go in the middle. And if you haven't noticed this already, I have a little tool here that's going to show in the top left corner the keys that I'm pressing as I do it so that you can follow along more easily. And so, okay, we have our two shapes here now, and I'm going to just select both of them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you those alignment hotkeys. So the first one, and these are all really easy to remember. That's one of the great parts about it. So it's just L for left align, okay? So I just hit the L key there, and then R for right align, T for top align, and B for bottom align. So pretty simple to remember those. I find myself often using the top align for the types of designs that I'm using, but I could imagine using all of these depending on the particular thing you're working on. So now let's say we're like working on like a sign type project and we wanna actually have this oval here centered inside the rectangle. So what I'm gonna do for that is actually use the center alignment keys and those are a bit different. So the C button is going to give me the vertical center and then the E button is going to give me the horizontal center. And so if I just hit C then E, I'm getting it perfectly centered inside the rectangle there, which is pretty cool and very fast to do with these hotkeys. Next, let's say we wanna orient this with the long side going up and down instead of side to side. You could just grab one of these corners and rotate it like this. However, you can also use the hotkeys. And there's one that if you press the, the period key, it's going to shift it 90 degrees clockwise. And if you hit the comma key, it's going to shift it counterclockwise by 90 degrees. However, if you wanna make more fine tune adjustments, then you can also use shift plus period and shift plus comma to do the same things, but with 45 degree increments. So we're just going 45 degrees clockwise here by hitting shift and the period key. And if we wanna go the other way, we can hit shift and the comma key to go 45 degrees in the other direction, which is pretty cool. We have a lot more hotkeys to cover, but if you're into this topic so far, consider subscribing to the channel because that'll tell me to do more videos like this one in the future. So thanks for that. And now we're gonna part ways with our little shape friend here in order to see some more hotkeys here in Lightburn. And what I'm gonna show you is how to use the hotkeys to select some of the tools over here. And some of the ones that I find myself using the most are the rectangle and ellipse. So I'll show you those first. The rectangle is just simply Command plus R. And so you can see it jumps down to select this little rectangle tool here, and then I can just create rectangles, and that just prevents you from having to go over here and select it. it. Just saves a bit of time, especially if you're working fast and you already know what you want to design. You can move more quickly, and it's ergonomically more comfortable, at least for me personally, to do this as well. Then if you want to select the ellipse or circle tool, what you can do is just go Command E, and then as you can see, it jumps us down here to the circle tool, and then I can just create as many ellipses or circles as I want. And one more that I'll show you here with the vector hotkeys is the line. So I can do that just by going Command L, and that's going to select a little pencil here, as you can see, and then that will allow me to use the line tool, and so on. So those are the vector hotkeys. Now let's say you wanted to take all of these shapes you've just created and actually group them together. Well, there's a really easy way to do that with hotkeys, and you can just select them all and then do Command G to group them all together. So now they're grouped together. I can deselect them and then just select here and you'll see it selects all of them instead of just the one that I pointed at. But then if you decide, hey, like I don't want these to be grouped anymore, you can easily ungroup them by just going Command U and then they're all individual again. And if I select this rectangle, I get just the rectangle. Next, I wanna show you a couple of selection hotkeys, one of which I think has the potential to be among the most useful hotkeys, especially if you're working with more complex designs or things with a lot of layers. So the first one, probably a lot of you have seen or heard of before, and that's just simply if you're here in Lightburn, you hit 
Command or Control A, then you're going to select everything. That happens in a lot of other programs as well, so it's not too crazy. But the next one I think is really interesting. And so let's say we wanted both of our ellipses here to be on the same layer, but we wanted it to be a separate layer. So let's just select those and I'm gonna put it on this red layer here. Now let's say we're working with a bunch of different shapes, a bunch of different layers. We might have a very hard time selecting just the things on this layer if they're all spaced out, they're overlapping with other things. But what we can actually do is just select all of the shapes on one layer very easily with a hotkey, and that's just to hold the shift key and click, just regular left click on that layer. So I'm holding the shift key, clicking this, it selects the red. If I wanted to do the same thing for the gray, I could. Shift, left click, selects everything with the gray. I think this is a really nice hotkey that some people will find extremely useful. Next, I'm just going to clean things up real quick and get rid of this line just to simplify things. And then I'm going to show you a hotkey that I think most, if not all people who use Lightburn will find useful, and that's to open the preview pane. So this is the preview button, right? And probably a lot of you, if you're familiar with, with Lightburn, have used this or seen this before. And it's just going to show you the cut path and some information about the design you've already created in your design window. But you can open that by just hitting Alt P, there's your preview, that's the hotkey. Now I just have two more things that I really wanna show you, and that is number one, some typical hotkeys that work in a lot of other programs that also apply in Lightburn. And then I wanna show you how you can actually customize your hotkeys in Lightburn to suit your liking. So first, the typical hotkeys. So just like in a lot of other programs, like word processors and things like that, if you select some things and then you do Command C, and then that's going to copy them, and then you do Command V, that's going to paste. So that's the old copy and paste trick, right? Or alternatively, if you want to cut them, um, you can do the Command X, cut them, Command V is still paste. So that works here in Lightburn as well. And then I also wanted to show you the uh, Command Z. So I use this all the time, and this is of course the undo button, which is perhaps the most popular of all hotkeys. Um, but I think interestingly, the command that works in a lot of other programs for redo, which is often command Y, is actually not how it's set up in Lightburn. And I didn't like that, so I actually customized it so that um, I could do it myself with command Y in Lightburn in my install. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. By default in Lightburn to redo an action, you have to do command shift Z. So for example, if I wanted to just delete this rectangle, I can undo it, and then I can redo it by doing Command Shift Z. Okay, so that's the basic premise, but I want it to be Command Y because that's what I'm used to in other programs. And so I'm going to go up here to File, all the way down to the bottom is Edit Hotkeys, and then you can see all of the different hotkeys and these shortcuts assigned to them, and I'm just going to use the search box, which is handy, and look for Redo. Then you can see right here, here's our shift command Z. I'm going to click on that. I'm gonna clear it. And then I'm going to uh, type in the one that I want, which is command Y. And so now it's going to save that as command Y and you can see it showing up here. And then I'm going to click okay. So now let's say I wanted to, I'm gonna delete this. I'm going to undo it. And then I'm going to redo it with command Y. And you see it works. So that's how it works, and it's also pretty cool. If you want to customize a lot of hotkeys, let me just show you this real quickly. You can go to Edit Hotkeys, and uh, if you have changed a bunch of hotkeys around, you can export that as a file, and then if you want to install Lightburn on another machine or do something like that, then you can later just take that file and import it back in here so that you have all of your hotkeys set up and you don't have to re-customize them one at a time. So I think that's a really cool feature and that's how you can use it in a nutshell. But these hotkeys are really just scratching the surface of what Lightburn can do. And so if you want a more well-rounded overview of how the software works, then go check out this video here on the screen, which is the beginner's guide to Lightburn that I wish I had when I first got started.